This video is supported by viewers like you. If you want to help me make more things like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. Vienna's district coats of arms are irrelevant. Ask the average Viennese what the coat of arms of their district looks like, and answers will range from, pff, I don't know, to, there are district coats of arms? And just there's the hitch. Close to no one in Vienna has any clue of what these coats of arms look like, or that they even exist. They're hardly present in the cityscape, and even at district offices you gotta search them with a magnifying glass. Why is that so? Well, let's have a look at one. Döbling. Great example of a bad coat of arms. Filled to the brim with junk, so you don't even know where to look, and the subject's so extra tiny that you can't recognize a single one from afar. Not that special though. They've all got a recognition value of minus 28 or so, with one single exception. But I'll keep that one for later. First, some history. Before 1850, Vienna was small, like about a kilometer in diameter small, until it is decided to tear down the city wall and gobble up the surrounding towns and villages. These municipalities are integrated and combined into bigger districts. 1903, with the construction of a certain church outfitted with all kinds of coats of arms, the plan arises to provide the districts with coats of arms as well. So they simply take the seals of the former municipalities, put them on one shield per district, splash some color on them, and finished are Vienna's district coats of arms. Only, they're kind of a mess. Problem number one, seals aren't coats of arms. A seal is a sign of authenticity for documents so must be hard to copy, meaning complex. When you don't recognize a seal at first glance, you simply take the piece of parchment and hold it extra close to your peepers. Coats of arms, however, work at a distance. When you're on a battlefield or at a tournament, you need to be able to know who that nobleman in the metal suit is from 100 meters away. So seals complex, coats of arms simple, which means you can't simply use the design of one for the other. A seal as logo, for example, also seems really clumsy. Dear University of Vienna. But don't mind me. <coughs> Newer district parts can, at times, be represented with clear imagery, like this one. But the old, seal-inspired parts are practically always way too crowded. Like this one, where the Archangel Mikey slices up a dragon with a holy lance. Problem number two. Too many subjects. To accommodate every single district part, they squeezed up to 10 subjects into one single coat of arms, which shrinks down all elements and makes it ever more chaotic. Lovely idea, but what good is being represented in a coat of arms that no one recognizes? Just imagine they'd done the same thing with district names. Which district are you from? Marie Hüflein mit Magdalena Kumpendorf. Ah, cool. Not that practical, no? Same with coats of arms. That's why that church that started the whole district coats of arms thing isn't decorated with those up to 10 subject filled monstrosities, but with a max of 3 subjects per shield. More, and you wouldn't have been able to spot anything at all on there. And yes, over the course of history there have been really complex coats of arms, but one, that doesn't mean they were any good, and two, nobles had professional heralds tasked with reading and attributing coats of arms. No matter if the common beet farmer could recognize the most noble count who just kicked him into the muck by his coat of arms, as long as heralds could. Today, coats of arms should be readable not only by an elite, but everyone. So be simple. How to do it right can be seen with the secret district coat of arms of earlier, the one of the inner city. A white cross on a red shield. So simple, so good can it be. You might even know that one already, since it's also used for the city of Vienna in general. At some point, they thought it wise to add these weird 3D borders to the cross, which are featured in the appendix of Vienna's Law of Symbols, but not actually described in it. But who cares? Certainly not I. <coughs> in any case, the city coat of arms works like a charm. Just look around Vienna for a bit. On every school, all public housing, every poster asking you to not feed the pigeons and clear the steaming piles your furry substitute children leave behind, there's the good old cross shield and so often there could be a district coat of arms hanging right next to it. But not when they look like that. Let's be super real, with extra whipped cream and chocolate sprinkles. There do not need to be district coats of arms. But if there are, I try to make them somewhat recognizable for people. One needs to ask the question, what should these coats of arms do? 
Should they be complex, historic museum pieces, gathering dust, or serve as clearly readable signs of communities? Whether you like the way they look or not, it's clear that the district coats of arms mean nothing to the people of Vienna. If one wanted to change that, they'd need to provide good symbols that are easily recognizable.